Hey friends, happy Mother's Day. How are you guys today? I am so much better since I took some headache medicine. <laughs> I have these amazing, this amazing prescription that helps me with these crazy headaches that I get. They're kind of like migraines. All right, guys. So I'm going to throw my apron on, and I am going to share with you one of my favorite, 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 not bad for you, good for you recipes, um, because I want to have that for my Mother's Day dessert, and I want to feel good about my dessert that I'm eating. And this is one of my favorites, okay? And I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try and make a cookie cake out of it. So we'll see how that goes. This is this random cup here. All right, so here are the ingredients. We have almond butter, and you're gonna take a cup of almond butter, all right? And you're gonna go ahead and just add it right in there. All right, it's a lot of almond butter. You can use other nut butters but I find that I like almond butter the best, and I am a peanut butter freak, but almond butter is the best. Then you're gonna take a quarter cup of raw honey. I get this at Aldi, you guys. You can use regular honey. Raw honey, though, is actually a superfood, so it's, it is better for you. And we, oh, it's a little thicker, too, than regular honey. And we go through hon honey, oh, like, fast in this house, so. Okay, so a quarter cup of raw honey. If you're just joining me, happy Mother's Day. I'm gonna add that right in there. Um, what's next? Oh, one egg, and I don't, don't have that out, so let me grab it. And I like to get the happy eggs from Aldi, the organic cage-free eggs. So you're gonna take one egg and you're gonna add it. If you, um, so we have one cup of almond butter, a quarter cup of honey, one egg, what else, um, okay, 1.5 tablespoons of vanilla, okay, so it's a lot of vanilla, but it's going to give it amazing flavor, so there's one, and then we're going to do a half, so one and a half, um, what else? one teaspoon of baking soda and notice i'm adding it all together okay so you don't have to do separate so here's your baking soda and then a quarter teaspoon of sea salt so here i have my big old thing of sea salt i'm just gonna eyeball it that looks like a quarter so i'm gonna add that to it okay then we want um how much coconut sugar let me see, two tablespoons. So this is what coconut sugar looks like. I get it at Trader Joe's. You can get it at a local, um, I don't know if the local grocery store has it, but I like to get it at Trader Joe's. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of this, okay? So one, and it is a nice sugar substitute and it is nice and sweet. I use it, it's really great for baking, I think. Okay, and then we're going to do, sorry, I'm looking at my recipe. Um, okay, and then 1.5 tablespoons, of, you can do flaxseed, you can do almond flour, this is flaxseed meal, so I'm going to do two tablespoons of that in there, so a little bit of fiber, right? Alright, I'm coming to it. Alright, so you're going to take all of that and you're just going to mix it thoroughly, okay, because this is like your batter, alright? And it's gonna be kind of, kind of uh, thick at first, but just mix it up, and it actually tastes good. I always feel like that's the test when you're doing um, baking: is taste the batter and make sure it tastes good, and that's an indicator if it's a good recipe or not, right? So we're mixing this up, mix it up good. It says two minutes, but I won't do. I won't keep you on here for that long. But yeah, just it's a good arm workout for sure. My arms are killing me from yesterday, so this feels good. <laughs> All right, so once it's thoroughly mixed, and you want to mix it good because remember, you have your baking soda in there, and you want to make sure you spread it well, okay? It actually becomes kind of like a batter, and I'm going to show it to you guys. All right, so check it out. All right, now we're going to add a half cup of chopped pecans. And then I found these, they're having them at Trader Joe's right, or at Aldi right now, 
and it's the, um, what are these? The Artesian Collection of Nestle, and it's dark chocolate chips, and they're minis, which I think is perfect. So we're gonna add a half cup of these minis. I always like to go a little over on chocolate, because I love chocolate, okay? And then we're just gonna mix that up, fold that right in. Okay, now, you're going to cook this at 350. You're gonna, you have to use parchment paper. So I have my parchment paper lined cookie sheet here. This is a huge double sheet because I'm actually, you guys, gonna make a cookie cake out of this. I'm really excited, just like regular cookies, this is gonna rise. So I will show you, but otherwise, if you were just going to do a cookie, this makes about 12 to 14 cookies. So not a lot, but it's kind of like a special treat you're giving yourself, okay? So think of it that way, but that, probably a little less than that would be a cookie, okay? But I'm actually going to do a huge, ginormous cookie for Mother's Day. We're gonna like cut it up, I'm gonna decorate it, and it's gonna be our special treat. And when I make these, by the way, you have to keep them in the fridge because it's all good for you ingredients. It doesn't keep all in the counter. So you wanna keep them in the fridge. They last good for about a week. They might not even last that long in your house. They're so freaking good. All right, I will go ahead and I'll share the recipe on my coach page if you want it. And um, otherwise, I will show a picture, throw a picture in the comments when I'm done making my big cookie cake and um, let you know how that turned out. That's kind of a, a test. We'll see how it works. But sending you so much love. Happy Mother's Day. The gift that I got was that my husband left with the kids and went to my mother-in-law's for a social visiting um, visit, social distancing visit, and I get to be home by myself for a few hours and, um, and just relax and enjoy the quiet. All right, guys, sending you so much love. Have a great day. Bye.